Hello everyone, as I promised uh, earlier this week, my student at Ajman University Architecture Department to make uh, some videos to explain in details all or actually the majority of the possible roofing that we can get from the roof command here and uh, here we go guys, that's the first video I'm gonna make the basic, you know, the basic roof and all the way you know to like this nine possibilities out of this basic one and then in the next videos I'm gonna make you know the L shape or the T shape one sorry here T shape and then more advanced roof and then go by uh, elevation one so let's just start with this one it's just basically uh, it's one piece or one room and it's uh, a roof by footprint so the easiest one or the most you know, self-made without any headache is this one. It's have four in inclination and each lines in the footprints. So I prepared a, a, another file here and it's just like five by, uh, it's just like five by 10 room that runs from the level one to level two, 4,000 millimeter height. And in order to create that, you just go architectural tab and go to roof and roof. And again on, on level two, I'm gonna just pick lines and you know that's all I am doing and just need to get rid of this and you see that this triangular shape represents that there is an inclination and if you select the line it's gonna tell you there is a defined slope and it's a 30 degree and as that default condition all of them have an incline and or slope so when you hit finish it's gonna self-generate, if you go to 3D, it's gonna self-generate the whole thing. And uh, you see there is four slopes, and probably need to select all the walls and have to, uh, select the attached roof and select the roof itself. So it get rid of any, you know, it just define the shape of the wall to match the roof. And if it's different, it's gonna just extend it or trim it or whatever. So that's it, that's the first one. Now the second one here is this guy. So we have three inclination and I on the other side look like a gable here. So it's easy. You need just to go ahead and open this guy, edit it, and just select the area that you don't want to be, you know, to have any inclination or a slope and just remove the you know remove the stick here and finish that and you're gonna see this. If if you didn't do the if you didn't do the attach, you're gonna get this result. And otherwise, you know, just go attach. You see, it's just extended and make it follow whatever the roof is actually doing. So now it's one side gable, as you can see, and there is three, uh, three slopes, and that's what we have. And that's what we have here in shape number two. In shape number three, it's just a uh, full gable. It's like it's uh, just two side inclination. So again. Just select this guy and repeat this step, remove the thing in it. And you're gonna get yourself a nice gable. The four shape here, or the four roof actually, is a shed and it's uh, have one one way of one slope. So just get it, remove, select, remove, and finish. See, that's what we have in here. That's a shed. You can just pick a, a line out of the roof uh, sketch mode and just specify the slope and you're gonna get it. Now, this dude is again, one of them 60 and one side 30. So if I go back, open the roof again, select this guy, this guy is 30. So just select this guy, slope it and change the 30 to 60. And you're gonna get this crazy shape, you know, like it's two, two, two slopes, 60 here and 30 here. Uh, that shape number five, shape number six, is having, you know, two adjacent edges with an inclination or slope while the rest doesn't have them. Easy to be made and the is the way to do it is just you know select this guy and I'm just gonna remove the slope here and get the slope to this guy just a 30 and you're gonna get this 
if you ever see this shape before, uh, not really. Uh, seven, there's a three sides and one edge doesn't have slope. I bet you know how to do it now. And again, that's it, technically. Now, this guy I like, it have three sides, it's actually four sides, of slopes, but they have different, uh, different, uh, different, I think, slope. This is 30, while well, this is 60. So, all, both sides have 60 and the other two sides have 30. I think it's uh, easy to be done. So, this dude and this guy, this guy I think it was 60 and this guy is 60 rather than 30 and this guy is 30 finish and you're gonna get this no, I don't know I like it now the last one is a bit of annoying but uh, again let's have a look so this guy uh, or this shape I'm gonna have, you know, and as you can see here, there's a slope in here, there's a slope in here, and this line, not all of it have the slopes. You can see this is straight here, it's almost gable, and all of a sudden in here we have, you know, an incline or slope, and then again back to a straight line. So let's have a look of how to do that. If I'm gonna go to level two, that might need to, you know, have a better look. Uh, this, if that means this and that is actually, you know, doesn't have a one line. It should be three pieces. And it probably it would be a good idea if you move this. Uh, let's say let's move 1,500 and 1,500, let's say. To make this longer because we need to split that guy into three pieces. So you're going to get, getting this split thing, which is this guy. Let's put it, uh, I don't know, 2,000 and then 2000 same thing from the other side now you select those four pieces at the edge and remove the inclination from them or the slope from them and hit apply now it's straight and then sloped only here and then straight if you finish this Okay, and join, and it's crash and burn, lovely. So what happened is it couldn't extend those two walls to the edge actually to make or to reach this one. Probably because of the attach. So if I just gonna repeat this, I'm gonna go and roll again. I'm gonna pick the walls again. Okay, I'm gonna move that. I'm gonna, yep, it's 1500. And I'm gonna move that again. Let's say uh, another 1500. Okay, now let's see if it was the attaching thing or not. Anyway, so I'm gonna get here, uh, let's say, I don't know, again, 2000, 2000, 2000, and then 2000. Let's see. I'm gonna hit remove the define slope, hit apply, finish. Okay, now that's what I want. And suddenly, when you look, it is definitely not the thing that we were expecting, like this guy. But before we go sad, the geometry is actually created so probably it clashed because this wall was actually attaching and it couldn't be made so it deleted this i don't know but now why this is not working and we are, why we didn't get the same shape as this because in this if you notice there is a height between the point if this is the, the the inclined one or the sloped one and this is you know the straight one as you can see that point and that point shouldn't be located both in the same Z. 
or the same height from the floor finish logically in order to create this you must elevate or you must move the, that part you know the inclined one at least some some distance away from this one in order to go this gabling and then from here you go you know you know move uh, sloping the area and then go back to a gable so you need to define an offset or a height between this point and this point in order to get a correct result and by not providing this by not providing this you get this result it's just ignoring whatever values you get it's even better than giving you an error message and deleting the whole thing as what happened in the previous time so cutting the long story short select those two guys and you see here there's an offset from the roof just give it anything let's say a 1500 and hit apply and now when you hit finish now you get the thing working you know so probably it's a little bit of ugly so i don't know let's make it uh 1100 1200 i don't know it's a little bit better leave the gap we're gonna fix it but you see the distance between here and here you're gonna see it very well in the north or south elevation have a di and click this and click that and you can see this is the 1100 that is just fed and that by removing the inclined part or the slow part of the line of the roof of this edge from this point and this goes gable and from here to here it's an inclined and then gable again so that's how it works and of course you have to hit you know hover above the wall hit tab and click and attach in order to get fix this part anyway i wish that you find this video useful guys this is the whole nine steps of uh, or whole nine possibilities of making the roof it's all very basic method and it's all foot by print for a uh, one single uh, room or geometry thank you very much for watching and have a good day bye bye